You know, there's been, I think, an attempt by Tea Party activists and leaders uh, to claim fiscal discipline as their raison de trot. But if you look at the study, what you find is that they're probably the most conservative group, along with evangelicals, on social issues such as abortion and, and gay rights. So I suspect that the Tea Party is just the new name for a lot of these Christian right activists to appeal to broader, more moderate voters in the electorate. And there's evidence of this in this study. So I think that was very, very interesting. Okay, so how do the, the studies here relate to the current reality of abortion politics as played out, I think, from a public policy perspective? Again, I think there are some tidbits here, some juicy tidbits in the study that maybe explain why the pro-life side is, is doing so well. Um, notably, that salience issue that Robbie was talking about, if asked, when asked if abortion was a critical issue among others, um, the study found that those who think abortion should be illegal versus those who support legal abortion rights were three times as likely to say that it was a cr critical issue. And as Carlin reminds us, uh, pro-lifers are more jazzed up about this issue, right? They're more likely to cast a vote based on abortion, whereas I think more pro-choicers consider a variety of factors here. Uh, pro-life activists are highly motivated. Um, they recruit candidates. They've become very politically and legally savvy. And I think that, you know, they help to drive, of course, the, the Tea Party success in many state legislatures. So I think this is helping to explain why it is that I think pro-life um, forces have been so successful. Uh, not just this year, but in, in the past several years.